Well, exactly. I mean, I, I think it's it's actually a brilliant strategic ploy by Cheney. I mean, Cheney's always been smart about, you know, the reality of power. Um, and now he's, he's just essentially calling the Democrats bluff. It's like, you want to talk torture? Okay, let's talk about your involvement in torture. Let's talk about what you approved. Let's talk about what you knew. That's one part of it. The other part of it is, you know, trying to move the ball and trying to convince people that it's the debate is about whether or not it was successful and not whether or not it was legal. And nobody wants to talk about the legality of it. I mean, that, that's why people are afraid of, you know, John Woo's justifications falling apart. No, and, and you were even saying that, um, that, you know, they were trying it and, and you know, not only did they, did they use torture, but they didn't get anything out of it. Um, if they had gotten something out of it, that would just make it a more difficult situation to deal with because theoretically torture is still wrong. And there are, there are a lot of people out there who, who are perfectly content to just say, well, maybe we got something out of it, maybe we didn't, but we could have gotten something out of it, and that alone is justification enough for torture. Well, I, th I think it's easy to compartmentalize things, and people have a tendency to do that. I mean, it, it, it's one of the major problems with the world is that people don't want to deal with it and all of its complexity. The major ramifications for torture, and let's assume even for a moment that torture works, and that we get actionable information out of it. We still have the remaining problems, which I think would probably, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it would, to a certain extent, it would, it would, be, it would depend on the magnitude of the terrorist uh, plot that you were foiling. But I think it would be hard to get to that threshold where you are cause, where you are preventing more damage than you're causing. Because if you look at the attendant problems of torture in terms of the way that it kind of erodes our own sense of personal morality, it certainly or erodes our moral authority in the world. It um, engenders, it, it, it creates terrorism because I, mean, I, I always keep coming back to the guy who was the interrogator in Iraq and who dealt with many people who were terrorists, who associated with terrorists, etc. And I think the most important thing that he had to say, aside from the fact that he used traditional kind of FBI style techniques and got actionable information and he was right by people who were testing the limits of torture and getting squat. But perhaps even more important than that is based on his interviews with people who were terrorists, were associating with terrorists, who, who, basically, who knew terrorism in, in a real way and not in an intellectual way. Um, the number one a number one primary motivation for people to come from outside of the country to Iraq to try to kill Americans was torture. Torture in Abu Ghraib, torture in Guantanamo, and how that was evidence of U.S. hypocrisy, which is exactly what Osama bin Laden has been trying to establish. I mean, that's his goal to show the hypocrisy at the core of our system. And nothing, nothing does that more efficiently than torture. And what do you think about, um, about Obama's idea that, that we can't show evidence of torture because that will uh, cause more recruitment of terrorists to uh, go kill Americans in, in Iraq and Afghanistan? I think the evidence <clears throat> speaks against that, honestly. I, I think that hiding this information, covering it up, covering up, well, failing to cover up what everybody al already knows. Well, I was going to say, the, the information is there. The only thing that's not there are the pictures. Do we, do we need the pictures or...? Absolutely. We need, we need the pictures. 
We need the pictures for several reasons. We need the pictures for several reasons. First of all, that's the only thing that's going to motivate the American people. I mean, pictures motivate people much more than documents, even if the documents are far more damning. Um, aside from that, the pictures are part of a process which is us totally coming clean about everything in this process. Now, if we bring this out and we don't engage in appropriate punishment, I think there is a chance that it could backfire. I mean, if we bring out all the evidence, kind of dump it in the lap of the, the American people in the world, and then say, you know, at the end of the day that it was just a few bad apples and look, you know, put a private and a you know corporal in, 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 in the brig for a while and say that's our answer to torture. Yeah, I mean, I think people will look at that and say, well, <laughs> that was kind of a cop out. Well, and I think that's what Obama is trying to avoid more than anything, because obviously um, the intention to to actually prosecute the people involved is not there. Um, I mean, that that became obvious when when the Obama administration said we are going to look forward and not look back to the uh, Bush Cheney administration and prosecute them for torture. And then, when they were talking about the uh, CIA agents who committed torture, okay, then they, uh, they said the same thing. They said, they said, well, they were acting in good faith, therefore we're not going to prosecute them either. So you're not going to prosecute the people who ordered torture, you're not going to prosecute the people who committed torture. In other words, torture is fine. Go ahead, commit torture, you know? Um, the, the message is clear. I mean, if you compare it to uh, to the trials of of the Nazis, you know, Nazi guards in in concentration camps and even soldiers, um, their argument back then was that was that following orders was not an acceptable defense, right? And that's a that's a hard line when you're when you're part of a part of a regime when you're in a military situation where not following orders can mean can mean you know instant uh, instant reprobation. I mean it can it can mean punishment. It can mean corporal punishment or even or even execution on the spot, right? Where where their lives were even in danger. It was not. It was not necessarily a defense, but now we're talking about CIA agents. Okay, go get another job, man. If you don't believe in torture, and if you have no problem with torturing people, and I mean, then you're opening yourself up to prosecution. That's the way it is. Deal with it. Well, I think <clears throat> that's why. I guess I, I'm kind of funny about this because. I don't favor actually going after the people who committed the acts of torture, the CIA agents. I think it's reprehensible. I, I, I wish they would have, would have had a stronger sense of personal conscience so they would not have engaged in it, like, like that interrogator in Iraq. I mean, he was free to use those techniques, but the way he put it is like the way I was raised... I just looked at that and I knew it was wrong and I couldn't make myself do it. And I, w I wish more people had been like that, but they aren't. Well, there has to be, but there has to be a fair punishment for these people. I mean, I, you know, I actually believe that there has to be an investigation that the people involved have to be punished according to what they've done. Now, do I think that the CIA guy who was told you are legally free to torture these people should have the same punishment as the people who who told them that lie okay or who came up with this legal justification no i think i think that basically bush deserves more jail time than the cia agent who even committed the act of torture but there's no way you can convince me that that the guy doesn't deserve you know, 
a trial. Well, I mean, I guess that's... I do tend to, to accept... Um, the argument that I was only following orders. And I, I tend to be after the person who was giving the orders. Um, and I think actually there's a couple reasons. One, I th there's, the level, there's a lower level of culpability um, a as kind of the <laughs> end user of morality. Um, but more significant than that is that I tend to view this as an opportunity to scapegoat. And so I don't want to get involved in the lower levels of this problem. 